my god, I can't even take myself seriously. <laughs> look like a troller. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So don't mind this look. Um, I was kind of trying a little different look today. I, I, I just, I don't even know. So today's video is obviously my Ipsy and BoxyCharm unboxing. So as always, I'm going to start with my Ipsy bag. I don't know, how do you guys feel about this look? I kind of feel like the hoop earrings are coming back in style and so are the brown lips with the, you know, plaid shirt. I mean, plaid is always in style, but yeah. I'm kind of ready for fall, if you guys can tell. Like, I'm so over the summer weather. I just want, like, full coverage, heavy makeup, dark lips. I'm, I'm ready. This month's bag is kind of heavy and seems a little full. Um, so the cards say it's a special invitation. Generation Beauty by Ipsy is a unique beauty experience that brings together the leading beauty and fashion creators on YouTube. Um, Generation Beauty at Ipsy? Is, is this like a personal invitation? Oh, that's so cool. They give you a discount for Generation Beauty tickets. That's awesome. I'll probably be going. Not 100% sure, but maybe. And this month's bag is supposed to be a prep school, but... You, you know. Alright, so this is what this month's bag looks like. I feel like we've had something very similar to this before. Um, it is kind of like plastic-y, I want to say. Like, um, I don't know. So the first thing I dig out is the Jessie's Girl eyeshadow primer that looks like this. I've been telling you guys for a really long time. I've never had a eyeshadow primer that's from the drugstore. So thank goodness I have one now. And I can show you guys a primer in a video. Um, for eyeshadow, so it looks like this. It's pretty small and it comes off pretty clear If you can tell so I'm guessing you just pat this in and it's a nice base for your eyeshadow I'm not sure if this will really work for me because I do have oily lids and this kind of feels It kind of has like a little slip to it. So I'll let you guys know how I like this the next thing I got is a do deuce I think this is how you say it the Deuce Cosmetics Ultra Precision Eyeliner. This is in the number 500. It's kind of like those coal pencils. Let's swatch it right here. Oh, it's pretty pigmented. Um, I don't know. It's it's nice and it feels very, very creamy. Um, I would have to test this out on my eyes. And it also says that it is waterproof. So that definitely sounds like a go. Next thing I pull out is the Hakari Mer Merlot Lip Gloss. Um... We've had Hakari in other bags before, but we've never actually had a lip gloss. Ooh, this is so pretty. First of all, this packaging is everything. It looks kind of very similar to um, that new brand that they sell at Sephora. I think it's Syrah or something like that. And it's kind of like this very mauve pinky berry color. The applicator is a regular dope foot applicator. Let's see the color. Ooh, that's so pretty and the lip gloss actually doesn't feel very like gooey and sticky so i really want to try this i love this color i feel like this would probably be a nice color to transition for the fall i like it the next thing i got is a brio geo i don't know how to say this i'm probably butchering it brio geo blossom and bloom um ginseng and biotin voluminizer it's a voluminizing blow dry spray okay um it says to spray throughout clean and damp roots prior to blow drying i guess so this is like a kind of like a primer for your hair before you blow dry it and it smells really good it smells kind of like citrusy like fresh lemon almost Alright, so the last thing I have here is packed in a little plastic bubble wrap. And I'm pretty sure this is a nail polish. Yes, this is... Ooh, I really like this color. Um, this is the Ayla nail polish right here. And this is in the color Mr. Pookies. I love this color. I wish I could swatch it on my nails, but they're freshly done. It's kind of like a purple taupey brown color. Okay, so I don't know how well you can tell, but it's... A very nice purple taupe brown color again I feel like this would be perfect for the fall 
So that was it for the August Ipsy bag. Now I'm moving on to my BoxyCharm. And you guys know I love BoxyCharm so much because it's full-size products and they're usually like really awesome products. Alright, so this month's box is pretty heavy also. Um, oh my god, I see some pretty good things in here. We're just gonna get started. The first thing I pull out is a little eyeliner brush and I think this is super cute. It is by the brand... Uh, Seta, Seta? I'm not really sure. I'm probably butchering that also. But this is the Seta eyeliner brush. It is $16 online. Like I said, it's a little um, eyeliner brush, so the tip is pretty fine. Not sure how well you can tell, but it's super thin and fine. I feel like this will go perfect for a really precise eyeliner look. And you guys know in the fall, I use eyeliner like crazy. I actually just opened a Fresh Inglot one and it feels so good. Next thing we got is the Coastal Sense Revealed 3 palette. This brings 20 eyeshadows. This is what the palette looks like. Sorry if I'm blinding you. So this is what the palette looks like. I've heard tons of people talk about this before in videos. And I was never really one to be like, oh yeah, I really want to try that Coastal Sense thing. Just because Coastal Sense doesn't really call my attention. It's kind of one of those brands like BH Cosmetics. And I like BH Cosmetics, but it's not something that I find myself purchasing a lot of. Um, so this is what the palette looks like. It has 20 eyeshadows and this actually retails for $40, but it's on sale on their site for $20 as of right now. Um, so these are the colors. This gold one looks so pretty. Oh, it is. These are pretty pigmented. I thought they were like those, um, you know those brands of makeup that you first start off with and they're not like that good? I felt like Coastal Sense was one of those brands, but these are pretty freaking pigmented. Like, look at these two colors and this gold right here. It's so pretty. Let me know if you guys would want to see a tutorial using this palette. I would gladly do it for you. Not bad, BoxyCharm. The next thing I got is the So Susan Statement Skin Highlighting Crayon. This thing right here retails for 20 bucks. Um, it's supposed to add a glow to your complexion. Uh... Its unique chiseled head enables you to cover large areas of your face or target small pinpoint ones like your cupid's bow. All without using a brush. This is really cool. It's powered by organic chia seed to help, to help keep skin softly hydrated. So the packaging kind of reminds me of the Too Faced um, lipstick ones. And it has like their little Instagram right here at the top. So cute. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Kind of looks a little bit like Tarte packaging. Ooh, mine was like rolled up already. And this is what the actual product looks like. So, like I said, it is a highlighting crayon. So, basically like a highlighting stick. And this actually might be a little bit too stark on my face, but it's super creamy, you guys. Like, it just glides on. I love the texture. It's really nice, but like I said, on my skin, because I am a little bit more tan, this probably won't work for me. And that was in the shade Starlight, which I can see why it's called Starlight. The next thing in the box is this Mika Beauty Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner in the color black. Like I said, I just opened my Inglot one, so I'm not sure if I would reach for the... Oh, God, this is super creamy and it's so black. Okay, now I really want to try this out. I'll probably use it the next time I do my makeup just because I just opened it and I swatched it. So I would like to get some use out of it. I'm pretty much dying over this thing. It's super black. I also have some Mika Beauty Cosmetics um, pigments, which I love so much. So the last thing that we got in the box is this Neo's Shield Leave-In Conditioner. And this retails for $26, which I could definitely see because it's a pretty big bottle. Um, it's Infused with Moroccan Argan Oil and it has an SPF of 15 for the scalp. It's supposed to control frizz. It's a sunburn shield and a hair color and texture protection. So this seems really cool and I've really been into leave-in conditioners lately just because you guys know I cut my hair not too long ago and I'm just trying to keep it healthy. I've also been looking into dyeing my hair. Not really sure what color but I kind of want to go lighter. Um, because, I don't know, I just feel like it, it doesn't really give me a lot of life. This seems really awesome, and I love that it has a pump. And it's a pretty big size. 
like I'm digging it. That was all that came in my BoxyCharm and Ipsy bags this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next one. Mwah. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right 